guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a new Project Pan intro. Um, a friend of mine and I are both huge Batman fans and this is something we haven't seen done. So we wanted to take Batman and do like a Batman villains Project Pan. So that's what we did. And I will, in the description box, I will leave all of my, my products, the characters, and what each character represents and you can do as many or as little if you want to join in if you do just mention me and my friend Jen who I will link her Instagram below as well because she's not on YouTube but she is on Instagram and this is going to be super fun so this project starts on March 31st 2021 and goes until December 31st, 2021. Um, originally, we had thought about doing, you know, January to December, but everything starts in January. So we opted to wait a little bit and we were going to do mid-March, but hi, I'm Robin and I blitzed on getting all of my products ready. So they are ready now. I'm filming a little bit early just so that this goes up on time but I would like to run through my products and who we picked as characters, well, as villains. So here we go. So one of the most popular villains um, we picked was Penguin. And for this character, we chose a product everyone hates but you love. So naturally, I went with a Jeffree Star product because he, in the beauty community, can put a bad taste in people's mouth, we'll say. Um, but anyway, I picked a one of his Volor liquid lipsticks, and this is in the shade Doll Parts. I love this shade. And I'll be honest, I love Jeffree Star. I love his stuff. It's not something that I ever see myself really getting rid of because his stuff is so good. I just hate the drama that follows him. But anyway, so this is what that shade Doll Parts looks like. So pretty. It's very mauve pink and it's one of my favorite colors to wear. So that was for Penguin. Next, I have a product for the villain Bane. This is a multi-dimensional product. Um, I opted to do the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. Um, I put, I only have a little bit left, but guys, I don't use this. Like, I just stopped using it because I love it so much. But, so I just, my goal is to use this. Um, my goal with that lip product is to use that as well. Um, but we'll see because there's 27 grams in that. So, there's a line here. My goal is to use this. I'm hoping within the next few months this will be gone and out. The next villain we have is the Riddler, and for the Riddler, you pick something green. And so I opted with something for with green packaging, so I chose the simple Micellar Cleansing Water, and I have marked it here. Um, it's just, it's currently the cleansing water that I'm working on, and so it worked out that it's got green in it. So I, my goal is to finish this as well and get another thing out of the stash. Next, we have Killer Croc, which is a product you hate. Something I hate is lip primer. And I had received a sample of the Too Faced Lip Insurance, and I have been trying and trying and trying to finish this thing. Um, I will say, so that is my goal. My goal is to finish this. If it's not done by the end of this project, it's going in the trash because it is far too old. And I just, I don't reach for it. I constantly forget about it. The next villain we have is Mr. Freeze. And for Mr. Freeze, the prompt is a product with a frosty finish. And I have chosen the Jeffree Star Peach Goddess. Again, I know Jeffree Star, but guys, this is so pretty. And this is one of my favorite highlights to use. Oh, it's not even gonna pick it up. It's just, it's so pretty and it looks very natural on my skin tone. So I love it. Um, My goal for this 
so right now this is at 124 grams. My goal is to get it down to 100. I think that's pretty reasonable over the next few months to get it to 100. The next villain we have is Killer Moth, and this is something that amps up your look and makes you feel strong. I chose the Kat Von D Trooper Tattoo Liner because honestly, doing a winged liner makes me feel strong. I don't know why, it just does. So this is like a deluxe sample. My goal is to finish this because I have a ton of samples. The next villain we have is Scarecrow and for his prompt, it is a grungy feel to it. And I opted to do the Anastasia Lip Gloss in Toffee. I do have that over a uh, Bite Beauty lipstick today. And I'll be honest, it really has that grungy 90s vibe to it. So I really like this. And my goal is also to finish this. The next product I have is for the villain Hugo Strange, which is something that's not popular. And I never see anybody really talking about this. So this is the Truly Mary Jane CBD Glow Serum. Oh my goodness, you guys, I use this under my makeup all the time. I didn't use this today because I did a special makeup look, which I will link below, but it it's my makeup look that I did um, for my sample project. Um, but anyway, I absolutely love this stuff. I have another full size. My mom got me it's, uh, one of the Truly CBD sets that was out over Christmas. She got me that. I love this stuff and so as much as I want it gone, I don't want to resort to my backup yet. But anyway, that's just a me thing. Um, so I marked it here and my goal is to finish it. The next product I have is for the Villain Joker, which is something out of the box. So I have the Nivea Aftershave because I think it was Nikki Tutorials had said that this was a great primer. I used it as a primer a couple of times and then it just went to the wayside. So my goal is to get halfway with this just because I don't think finishing it would be ideal, well, not ideal, but would be possible in such a short amount of time. So my goal is to get about to the halfway point. So as you see, I marked it here. That's where I'm starting and we'll see how far we can go with this. <laughs> The next villain we have is Harley Quinn, and this is something that you fell in love with. So I have the Kopari Coconut Melt. Um, I had to weigh this just because it's so, like the packaging so thick and then like the product inside is really thick. I love the smell of this, but it's really thick inside. Um, so this has 65 grams. My goal is to finish this because I, it's been in projects after projects and I just, I never finish it because I always forget about it. So that being said, I wasn't sure about this when I first started using it because it was so thick. But the way I found to use this stuff, I put this on my feet every night before I go to bed lately. And it smells like a Mounds Bar or an Almond Joy, one of those. And it smells delicious and my feet feel so soft. So I've been using this a lot on my feet and it's just, it's perfect. The next villain we have is Too Faced. And for Too Faced, we have the prompt, a multi-purpose product. So I chose one of the ColourPop glitter gels. Uh, this is the shade Waterfall from the Frozen 2 collection. Um, so this has 48 grams in it now. I would like to get it to about 30. Um, I've used this in my crease. I've used this in my inner corners. I've used this in my eyebrows. I've used this as a highlight. I love this stuff. It is so good. But it's glitter and glitter gets everywhere. Everywhere. So I do forget to use it, but I do enjoy using it when I do. So my goal I think is reasonable because it's only like 18 grams that I have to use. So we'll see. Next I have the villain Catwoman and this is for something that makes you feel confident. Um, so I opted for the Bite Beauty 
Outburst Longwear Lip Stain in the shade Orange Fizz. Guys, this is so pretty. And with summer coming, like, I'm excited. But that's the shade. It's very orangey with, like, red to it. It's a perfect shade for those bold nights in the summer, provided we're not wearing masks. But we all know we will be. So it'll look beautiful staining my mask. The last villain that we have is Poison Ivy. And so po for Poison Ivy, we have something earthy. And when I think of the earth, I think of brown grass, mainly because I'm in New England and right now it is March and the grass is very, very brown because we haven't had a lot of rain and we're getting, we're go transitioning from winter to spring. And so it's just very brown here right now. So I opted to do the to uh urban decay 24 7 liner in bourbon and i have measured it but that is what the shade looks like there and my goal is to use this because it it's really old all right guys well that completes this video if you want to join in on this project i will have the villains their prompts everything down below in my description and we would love to see you guys attempt to do the batman villains project pan no rules. You can do as few or as many products as you like. I opted to do all of the villains just because it was one of my, it was not my idea. Like we both kind of came up with the idea together, but I was one of the creators. So that's why we decided to do it this way. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye.